it's William from Rocket Server, and welcome to another Pixel R tutorial. In this video, we're going to be building the untitled Goose Game Goose holding a rainbow flag, and we're going to be using some black, some orange, some white, some brown, some purple, some blue, some lime, some yellow, and some red wool. Now, before we get started, please make sure to go ahead and click that like button down below, subscribe. If you haven't, go ahead and click that notification bell so you'll be notified when we post a new video. And now, let's get started. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna begin by placing just four blocks of our black wool. Now, after those fours, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna have three diagonals going up and to the left, just like that. So it's pretty simple. Make sure that you guys have, actually, it's gonna be three. So make sure you guys have those three diagonals going up and to the left. And now our fourth block, which is gonna be a diagonal, but it's gonna be going to the right. So make sure you guys have this so far. Pause it if you need to. Now, every so often, after we build something, I'm gonna be taking a step back, allowing you guys to have an opportunity to hit pause, just in case you need a little bit of extra building time. But if you don't, let's go ahead and continue. We're now gonna place three black wools going to the right. Then we're gonna go up by two black wools. We're gonna have one diagonal going up and to the left. And then we're gonna go up by five on the left side. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. Now, after those five black wools that are going up, we're gonna place one black wool on the top left. Then we're gonna go down and we're gonna place five black wools to the left. So one, two, three, four, and five. Now, on the second block from the left, we're gonna add one black wool. Now, remember, feel free to pause it whenever you need to. So now, let's continue. We're gonna go down by three black wools on the right, just like so. Then on this left side, we're gonna have three diagonals. So we're gonna have one, two, and three. Then right above this black wool, we're gonna place three going to the left. And then up here, we're gonna have kind of a funky shape, which is gonna be two black wools, and then we're gonna go down by one on the left. Then we're gonna have one diagonal. Now after this diagonal, we're gonna have four black wools going to the left. Then we're gonna have three going down right here, so we're gonna have one, two, and three. And then we're gonna have five diagonal black wools going you know, up and to the left. But we gotta start with this one here. So we're gonna have one, then we're gonna have two, three, four, and finally five. So that's gonna be our five diagonal black wools going up and to the left. Then we're gonna go up by two black wools. Then we're gonna go up by three black wools. We're gonna have two diagonal black wools. And then we're gonna have two black wools going to the right. Then we're gonna have two black wools going up. And then we're gonna have another two black wools going to the right. So make sure you guys have that. Then what we're gonna do next is that right on this side, we're gonna stick three black wools just like that, you know, just pancake them on this side. Now what we're gonna need to do is set down, or not down, but up here, we're gonna connect one black wool and then we're gonna have those five diagonals. So wait, am I making any sense? Starting right here, we're gonna have five diagonal black wools going down onto the right. So we have one, then two, three, four, and then finally, five. So make sure you guys have those five diagonal black wools. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, and five. So make sure you guys have that. You can see that the flag's coming along. So what we're gonna do next is that over here, we're gonna have two black wools going down. Then on this right side, we're gonna have two black wools going up, connected just like so. Now we gotta continue this part of the flag. So what we're gonna do is that over here, we're gonna go back up. Actually, let's take a step back, you know, pause it if you need to. This would be a great stopping point if you need one. 
But if you don't, let's go ahead and continue. From this point here, we're going to have five diagonal black wools going down and to the right. So we have one, two, three, four, and then finally, five. And then we need to add one more diagonal going down and to the left just like that. So make sure you guys have this so far. Pause it if you need to. You can see it's going to be like the little like wooden thing of the flag and this is where the beak is. So let's continue. We're going to go up here. We're going to have one diagonal black wool going up and to the right. Then we need to have two black wools going to the right. We're going to have one diagonal black wool. Then we're going to go up and we're going to add three black wools going to the right. Then we're going to drop down and we're going to have four black wools going to the right. Then we're going to drop down and we're going to have two black wools going to the right. We're going to have three black wools going up and to the right, just like so. Then we're going to have two black wools going to the right. And again, another two black wools going to the right. Then we're going to have seven black wools going to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then we're going to have one diagonal black wool. Then we're going to have three black wools going to the right. And we're going to connect seven black wools right here on this right side going down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then we're going to have one diagonal going down and to the left. Then we're going to have five black wools going down on the left side. So one, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to have one black wool on this top left and then another diagonal going down on the left. So make sure you guys have that so far. Now on this right side, we're going to go down by three black wools. Then we're going to go down by two black wools. We're going to have one diagonal going down and to the left. And then another one going down and to the right. Then we're going to go down by six black wools on the right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now on this ground floor, we're going to place four going to the left. One, two, three, four. With one black wool in the top left. Then on this left side, we're going to go up by five. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. Then on the second block from the right, we're going to go up by three. One, two, and three. Then on this top left, we're going to add eight black wools going to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we're going to drop down and we're going to place four black wools going to the left. One, two, three, four. We're going to add one black wool on the top here and then another diagonal going up and to the left. Then we're going to drop down and on the left side we're going to have two black wools. Then we're going to drop down again and have another two black wools. So make sure you guys have this for the outline of, you know, your Untitled Goose game who's holding a little bit like, you know, rainbow flag. So what we're going to do next is that we're going to start doing the orange parts are very important. So over here, we're just going to you know, connect this part here. And on this side, we're going to add just one. So, you know, everything below this orange or, you know, below this orange block has to be orange. And everything below those two needs to be orange. Now we need to do a little part here that separates the beak or the, the bill, I guess is the bill. So do you guys see this black wool? That's below this row of five. Well, we're going to add one orange on the top. Then on this left side, we're going to have two orange wools going up. And then we're going to have two diagonal orange wools. So make sure you guys have that. 
That's going to be the beak area. Now we're going to grab our brown, and we're just going to fill in the little wooden part of the flag. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and do it here too. And I'll step back to show exactly what we just did. Awesome. So make sure you guys have this. Now what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to fill in all of the orange. And then of course the body of our you know goose with some white wool. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Awesome, and that's what the goose should look like after it's all filled in, or the geese, I'm not sure what to call it. So now we're gonna do the little rainbow part of the flag, and this is gonna be kind of complicated, so we're gonna have to pay attention, but I'm gonna try to do as good of a job as I can explaining it. So we're gonna start right here, and we're gonna place two purple wools, then we're gonna place four purple wools, then we're gonna do five, one, two, three, four, five, then we're going to do one. And starting here, we're going to go up by four. So we're going to have one, two, three, four. And then two on the left side. And that's going to be the color purple. We don't need purple. We can throw it away. Bye-bye. We can also get rid of brown, white, and black. We're going to need orange later. Anyway, so back to the color. We're going to go grab our blue. We're going to place one blue and then two blue wools. Then starting above the last blue wool that we place, we're gonna place two. Then we're gonna place three. One, two, three. Then in the middle here of this three, we're gonna place four. One, two, three, four. Now we're gonna go to this purple and we're gonna place three. One, two, three going to the left. We're gonna go to this black and we're gonna place three going to the left. And then one blue. So hopefully that made sense. Let's go ahead and grab our lime. We're going to go back down here and we're going to place one lime and then three limes. Then two limes. Two limes. Three limes. Right in the middle again, we're going to do another three. In the middle again, we're going to do another three. And in the middle again, we're going to do two limes. Now we're going to do our yellow. Now with our yellow, we're going to place two yellow wools. We're going to go up. We're going to place two yellow wools. We're going to go up. We're going to place two yellow wools. Then we're going to go up and we're going to place two yellow wools. Then we're going to place one yellow wool. We're going to go up and we're going to place two yellow wools. Then we're going to go up and we're going to place two yellow wools. Make sure that you, do not, that you do not put a yellow right there because we need it for the orange. Now we're going to grab our orange wool and on this left side, we're going to go up by two orange wools. Then we're going to go up by two orange wools and again up by two orange wools. So you're going to go up by two orange wools three times. Then you're going to add one orange and you're gonna go up by two orange. Then we're gonna skip an area here. We're gonna go to this side and we're gonna place two orange wools and then one orange wool. So make sure you guys have that. I know that was kind of confusing. Just that's how this flag is, it's a bit tricky. So now we're gonna grab a red wool and we're just gonna go ahead and fill this in with all of our red wool. And that's how you make the little rainbow flag. So if you guys enjoyed building this untitled Goose Game Goose with the rainbow flag, please make sure to hit that like button down below, subscribe if you haven't, go ahead and click that notification bell down below so you can be notified when we post a new video. And just thank you so, so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you real soon in the next video.